What's going on everyone? Nicker Catalyst here. And this isn't the video that y'all were gonna get today. Uh, it was supposed to be a funny moments video, something really lighthearted, something very fun. But your boy is pissed. Your boy which 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 sounds like such a, a bad YouTuber thing to say, like it's your boy Catalyst here and he's pissed off, but I'm I'm seriously really angry right now. Um so I, I just got out of class. I just bombed a Spanish exam, probably. I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying that because I'm upset, but I just got back and uh, read the patch notes for the upcoming February patch. And, and most of it was good, admittedly. It was good. Lots of good changes to the new maps. Some nice changes to the cavalry class. And um, some of the airplanes and vehicles and whatnot. But... The other, the other half of it is complete shit, and it's 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 not good, and I'm and I'm upset. So, I got back from class, as I said. I sat down. I'm gonna throw up some gameplay on the screen. I don't even know when this was supposed to be used, but I'm just gonna pick the first thing I see, and fucking put it in. But uh, yeah, dice. What y'all doing over there? Like seriously, are y'all fucking stupid? Like, I thought you were better than this. Like, why the fuck are you even considering this right now? I just can't even... Okay, obviously I was getting a little carried away there, but uh, I need to calm down if this is going to garner any attention. I can't openly bash the developers. And this is, by the way, Battlefield 1 is a game that I adore. Obviously, it composes a large part of my channel, pretty much the entirety of my channel. It's a game that I love. It's a game that I cherish. And DICE and the Battlefield series is probably one of the best FPSs to ever grace uh, the gaming generation. But... I extremely disagree with some of the things that they are putting in the CTE right now to test and patch, and I hope by voicing this displeasure, even though, as I'm probably going to find out, I'm going to be in the minority on this, hopefully it garners some attention enough for maybe a look at a change here. Um, so what is it that has got me so upset? and so flustered and angry and i'm pretty sure this is the only time that i've ever been this upset <laughs> on on my channel before this is probably a new side of catalyst that some of you have never seen before but <laughs> dice has decided to try and nerf the slide not try and nerf they are full blown dug at a fucking grave in the ground um, they have decided to make it to where if you are running, you can only slide in one direction and you slide just a bit slower. At least that's my understanding of the patch notes. Take that with a grain of salt. The main point is, is that dice is surfing to the slide to where you can't slide backwards anymore. You can't slide sideways. And this is very triggering for me because admittedly I am biased to this because you'll notice that I slide a lot of the time. And this is a slide that has already been nerfed once. It used to be completely overpowered and I completely agree with their nerf to uh, subtract the time or the, the sprint out time after you uh, slid. And this was, this was pre-patch pre slide. But we're talking the current version of the slide. They are thinking about nerfing that even more. And making it to where you cannot slide sideways to avoid fire, you cannot slide backwards, and you slide much slower. And if DICE were to continue with this and put it into the entire game, the slide mechanic itself would be useless. And the game itself would lose probably one of the only remaining things that presents a skill gap in this game. Battlefield 1 has already been the most casual battlefield ever in the history of the series. And you see that with some of the guns and the gun balancing, uh, guns like the Martini Henry, the, uh, the balancing of the pre-patch Model 10 Hunter, and yeah, the Hell Regal and the Automatico. It's the most casual, friendly battlefield ever created. And 
The reason why the nerfing of the slide is so upsetting to me is that it's getting rid of one of the last few things that us skilled players have as an advantage over uh, a casual player besides increased gun skill, positioning, awareness, yada, yada, yada. And I was completely unaware past the initial patch to the slide that there that a problem was still occurring. Like, this was the first time that I had heard any complaints about it uh, p past the initial complaints about the slide, which was patched, as I already have said, that I agree needed to be nerfed. So, essentially, the way that I feel about it is that a lot of casual players which do make up a majority of this game, are complaining about the slide enough to where DICE is listening to the majority of casual players instead of the people who are very skilled at the game and understand the mechanic and have played a Battlefield game before. So that's kind of the biggest reason why this pisses me off other than, other than the mechanic would become completely useless and it makes the game too casual it's that dice is starting to pander towards the more casual audience instead of its most dedicated players and that is what is so upsetting to me i believe that in every single game that there should be there or i don't believe that there should be but in most games there are mechanics that can be mastered and perfected and countered and the slide in battlefield one is one of those things and it honestly it does not need to be nerfed again, but if it were to be nerfed, don't make it one directional. Nerf the speed in which you were able to slide backwards or sideways. Nerf the sensitivity that the player has to be able to move around and distract the, the, the person or the enemy aiming at you, rather. The, 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 the slide is a mechanic in the game that can be mastered and perfected, and those players who use it to their advantage should not be punished because it's not an exploit. It's a mechanic of the game. And I know I'm going to sound like an elitist here and say catalyst, and you're you all going to say catalyst where you're just triggered because you can't use the slide into your liking, your liking anymore, and that's part of the reason why. But the, it's a, the slide is a mechanic uh, that can be mastered. Like I've said, and I'm repeating myself here because I think it's important, it's not an exploit. And the players that have mastered this mechanic, like any other mechanic in any other game, like aerial, aerialing in Rocket League, twisting your car in Rocket League, um, knowing uh, how to quickscope in Call of Duty, I know that's a shit poor example, but you get the picture I'm going, those who have mastered the mechanic of the game should not be punished for those who are bitching and complaining and cannot master the mechanic. Uh, because it eliminates the skill gap and Battlefield 1 just gets that more casual, which a lot of players are already kind of not happy that it is so casual with. But that's not the only thing that this patch has made me, you know, get a wedgie about in my pants and have a stick up my ass and just be generally grumpy and unsatisfied. Uh, the Hell Regal is receiving a ADS nerf for reasons that I do not quite understand. Uh, sure, the weapon is still very good in the current patch, but or the current version of the game, but it's not overpowered anymore. It's not sickly easy to use. Uh, the recoil is enough to where it's uh, it's it's very difficult to use at medium range, and the Hell Regal doesn't need another buff or excuse me another nerf. Uh, but the flip side to this is that the Automatico is receiving a range buff and is receiving a recoil. Um, a, de a decrease in, I think, vertical recoil or something like that. And this is also something that falls under the lines that I don't understand. Why, why are you plummeting the assault class into the ground and making it another automatico fest like it was for the first couple of the months of the game? And why are you basically shitting on the Hell Regal, and again, I'm partial to the Hell Regal. I uh, use it in all my competitive matches. That is my gun, but if you've been on my channel before, you know that I do not need that gun to survive. So before you even go there, comment section, I can use any gun in the game pretty effectively. Hell, I could have used the M1903 experimental pre-patch and gotten a pretty decent gameplay with it. But the Hell Regal is the premier gun of the assault class, and you're taking a nerf hammer to that and making it even worse. And then, all, basically, assaults, all they have to, res to resort to is a hosing cheese gun in the Automatico that is quite hated um, already. And it just doesn't make quite 
much sense to me why DICE is doing this in this patch. The game is fine now. I think it's in the best state that it's been in a long time, especially with the new Time to Kill patch. But essentially, it's like, hey, after buffing this meta class to being almost overpowered, let's go ahead and nerf the Assault class into the ground, buff up the Automatico to make it completely annoying again, and then have it beat out the Hell Regal at medium range. Let's nerf the slide to obliterate any skill gap left in this casual-as-fuck battlefield. And not to mention, this is the best part, let's not fix any of the problems that have plagued the game for the past month or so. If, for example, going prone when you're trying to vault over something, being unable to join servers, spawning in without weapons on Rupture and Sinai Desert and sometimes Suez as well, and twitching like a fucking breakdancer after a revive, and there's also a scope glint, uh, glitch and there is being unable to switch weapons or aim up and down or left or right after a revive sometimes. Look, I know that DICE has its priorities, and I know that they're not going to get to every single game. It's not, it's not game-breaking, but a glitchy... They're not going to get... Um, how do I fucking say this? They're not going to get to each issue as soon as I want them to, but it starts to get annoying when you're implementing things into the game that will potentially make it a whole lot worse instead of fixing the things that could make the game run a lot better and perform better, and that's what... And that's, a lot of what is this pent-up aggression is towards this patch is that they're pandering to a casual audience, fixing things that don't need to be fixed, and not fixing things that do need to be fixed. And I'm running over time here, I'm sure. I'm not sure how long this video is right now, but I'm sure you can only listen to so much of me ranting. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for supporting me. I hope I didn't uh, be, be too standoffish to a lot of you. Um, I hope I didn't upset you. I am just personally very, very triggered at this patch, and I hope that somehow this, this, I know it probably won't, but it'll just make me feel better about it, and hopefully this all gets changed by the time the February patch comes out. So, thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all another time. Yeah. I'm from Alabama, what is that mean? You don't like my state? You put a stereotype on my people, homie, but you know exactly what I'm gonna say. You see me shining without a diamond at all, but you better see me stuck in the shade. Oh, you mad? I'm getting buttered, motherfucker. You don't wanna see dinner get paid. Huh. That's a reasonable excuse to hate, so thank you. I must bless you.